Welcome back, everyone. Sometimes after you read a book, it just kind of sits on your shelf and you never touch it again. Well, here to turn the pages of a favorite old book into a guardian angel is an angel herself. Aww. Hey, Jean, you really I are. like the turn You're the page sweet thing, as too. An angel. It all works. It all works. It all comes together. <laughs> it does. It does. So many options. I, l I love old books. And even going into like the old bookstores, like how they smell oh. and all of that. But to create them, maybe a book that meant something to you that you're not using anymore, that maybe yeah. doesn't look good on the shelf anymore, um, you can transform that into a book and then, or into an angel, and then it stays on your mantle forever. I mean, I love the ways the, these look. They're so sweet. We're right in Christmas Corner, so it all makes sense as well for sure. Yes. Christmas angels as well. Uh, let's get started. What's okay. the first thing we got to do? First thing we have to do, well, I'd say the first thing you have to do is set aside some time. <laughs> um, That's right. Uh, I watched three Hallmark movies to do this. Is so that right? It takes some time, but look okay. at the payoff. I think it's totally worth Was it. Was I in any of the Hallmark movies that you watched? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm man, sorry. I'm sorry. That's not the I, point. I should DVR That's not yours. No. Yeah, not the point. Okay, okay, so you want to prep your book. If you've got a soft cover book like this, yeah. you really want to make the spine as flexible as possible. So what you're going to do is just keep bending it back okay. in different places. Very good. And just keep going over and over now, and can over you again. Also, will this also work with a hardcover book? I see you yes. got one here too. Yes. So the difference with the hardcover is you can still, you still have to make this pliable. So you still go back and forth. But what you want to do is take this part off. So take the hardcover off. So what I did was God. just took um, a little exacto knife. Okay. Kind of uh, just went along the spine there, and yeah. then you just kind of rip it off. There we go. Oh, that wasn't that hard, was it? No. So, okay. but the spine still stays, which is important. Yes, because, you need that to stay to keep the pages yeah, together. Exactly, because we don't we don't use any glue until it comes to the fun stuff. Gotcha. So now that we've either worked the back of yep. our paperback or we've got the hardcover mm -hmm. off of our uh, hardcover book, I'll then we get that. then the folding technique. The folding technique. Is okay. Yes, is it's kind of confusing. Like for the first minute, okay. and then once you got it, you got it down. And this is where the time consuming comes in, right? Yes. This is actually what takes a lot of but the time. But it's actually, it's really, really cathartic. You're watching a movie, you're folding pages, yes. and and sometimes reading. <laughs> like all of a sudden, I'll be like, oh, look what that says. <laughs> yeah, let me read that chapter so again. The first one goes down, you want to hit the spine got like it. that. It yep. goes down like that. Okay. You want to do that again. Fold it down okay. along the spine. Got it. And it goes all the way down, and then you can kind of see almost like a little handkerchief. Do you see how yep. this this part right there, a little higher on the camera, there we go. So right there, that's gonna be tucked in. In order to make sure that it stays in, I'm gonna fold it this way first. Take your nail, if you don't have a nail, take like a pen, make sure that crease is good, and okay. then we're gonna tuck it in. Okay, so you fold it both ways. You fold it both one ways. Way, then the yep. other way, and you're right. That does help a lot. Yep. Then, then you turn you, it over, and then, then you guess turn that what? Over. You do it for all pages. I'm gonna guess you do that pages. again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Yep. Yeah, it's like but a little meditation. But once you get it down, like it does go faster. And then you just do boom that underneath. Tuck it over, get it back in place. Yep. And then flip. Yep. And so and like repeat. this one, we just have another 173 pages yeah, to go. Yeah, that's not so bad. It it really isn't because <laughs> then it all comes together okay. uh, just like this. Yes. And I didn't use any glue for this. Mm, so once good. you start putting this together, it stays like this. Because Beautiful. it's so packed in. And you can see here in the back that I maybe could have pulled out a few more pages because it does get kind of squishy there. A little there in dense. The back. A little okay, dense. all right. But, the, but we'll I think just put it, looks it in great. the back. I think it looks great. And now, I, uh, you have something else to say before we move on to the wings? No. This is ready to go. Ready to go. Ready okay, to so go. let's move on to the wings okay. because you're also using, uh, obviously, the paper from the books yes. to create these wings as well. So they all kind of tie together. So this is what I did. I grabbed a few. I'd say probably like 15 to 20 pages. You want to rip them out of the book. Uh, set this aside, nice. and then um, you can get one off the internet, or you can draw one yourself. These like these a template wings. off the internet. Yep. Um, but if your page. Yep. You can just make little wings, and then you can. When I was cutting it, I just did the like, with just with my hand, just kind of cut it, and it actually turns out like this. You add a whole bunch because you're going to keep this whole stack together, 15. To I 20. got it. So you do 15 to 20 at the same time. At so the that same doesn't time. Take, that doesn't take as long as. No, the not not a long. Okay. Not as long. But do you see how these kind of have a curl to I them? do, yeah. Okay. You curl this the same way you would curl when you're making a present. Those little tiny ribbons. Right, with the edge of the scissors. Edge of the scissors. So what we're going to do, and this is paper. I learned the hard way that if you pull too hard, they will rip. <laughs> yep. So you just want to take it through like this very softly. And look at that. You get Beautiful. the curl. And when you're cutting the wings out, you want to make sure that the, the writing is horizontal. 
Oh, um, yes. You feel like it looks better, is that right? So you can see that. And yeah. if they're too, like if curl too curled, you can go, you can turn it around and do the same thing and it'll straighten it. Got it but got yes, it. let me show you over here. Um, I did this one, and do you see how the writing then is going up and down? Yeah. I don't think that looks as good. It's fine, but I added a front and back page so that if you're looking at it, the, the words are going the right way. Beautiful. And then for the larger one, I didn't, this paper did not translate into making wings. So what I did, these are music notes. Can you see that? Wow. So those are music notes. So Fancy. I took another book of music notes and then just cut wings out of that. So we had a bigger, like a bigger surface what to work with. What a great idea. I like the music note wings. Yes. Cute. Okay, now we're gonna make the head and the hands. Okay, so. so what the, do we do for those? Because they, uh, they look so cute up there. They, so you can see this one, um, these two have the same heads. These are these little beads. Yeah. This one I had to go a little bit bigger. I did a wood dowel because he kind of looked like a pinhead with that little thing. So all you do is you take some, I use 20 gauge wire. Perfect. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and right put a little glue in the top. And then and the wire will push it the in. The wire will push it in, and that and that holds itself. Um, the wings, we're gonna, whoops, that was a new one. The wings, we're gonna hot glue as well. So you hot glue them right in there like that? Yep, I'm just gonna add a bit of hot glue to that. If you could hold those what, in place. What would we do without hot glue is what I want. Oh my God, it's my favorite. I swear <laughs> you can make anything, you can fix anything. When your car, you know, isn't acting right. Yeah, look at that, and they stay Go ahead and on. use some hot looks. glue. Okay, so then we also make a halo with with this same wire, okay. and you want to go around like that. And mm -hmm. if you have trouble making a wire round, take a big pen like that. That's a good tip. And it will tr it will do it for you. Beautiful. So we're gonna put that in there, and you can see on those I added uh, little beads to the halo. I saw that. And then for the hands, you do the same thing. Wrap it around here. So another circular one, and then you... Um, um, yeah, kind of like an open sorry. circle. You can hold that in place for you. You hold that in place, yeah. and then I'm gonna take these tiny little beads. These are gonna be the hands. And, and you pop them put... on for the hands, and then you put some uh, little sheet music or something for them to hold. <laughs> yes, yes, here. You need a little bit more hot glue on the back here, but that's okay. No, just keep holding it, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, Debbie can do the rest of the show. It's You're great, gonna... but you know, you gotta stand um, by it the whole time. So this this is how I made the tiny little Hark the Herald okay. Angel sing. Aww. They, um, I printed it out in three different sizes, got them on the internet. They come out in a little book like this. You just glue them together and then put them between the angel's hands. And you're good Paige, to go. More proof that you really are an angel in real life. I mean, oh, that's thanks. Impressive. That's impressive. These are so adorable. Make sure you go to HallmarkChannel.com, everybody. Full instructions will be right there.